Hi friends, you are watching The Other 167. In the book of Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 10, the Bible says, Remove not the old landmarks. Today when we go to meet anybody for the first time, we normally ask them which is the landmark which is uh, next to your house. But sadly the word landmark does not mean a place of prominence. It actually means a boundary or a line separating two places or two people, right? So if I have a piece of land and so does my neighbor, then there is a landmark in between which runs, which I'm not supposed to breach or he or she is not supposed to breach, which means my place belongs to me and their place belongs to them. Like a game of kabaddi where uh, when we go into the opponent's side, we are insecure. But once we touch back the line, which is the landmark, then we are safe, right? So God tells us that do not breach, do not remove these old landmarks, these boundaries which have been set. You know, there are physical and spiritual landmarks in every person's life. We see that in the life of Esau and Jacob. Esau was just few minutes elder to Jacob, but once he comes tired and Jacob says, give me your birthright and I'll give you a bowl of porridge. And sadly, Esau trades his birthright. But even when Jacob is so cunning, God decides to discipline him. And eventually in the life of Jacob, we see God disciplines Jacob and brings him on the right path, right? Eventually he becomes Israel, which means to prevail with God. And today Israel is the name of a nation. So Israel is a nation known by a man's name today, right? So we see that God does not allow Jacob to preach that landmark. And that's what is so amazing because in verse 11 of Proverbs 23, the Bible says God is a defender of the fatherless, which means the helpless people. God will defend them. God will fight for them. But you and I ought to be careful just because we are under grace, just because we believe in Jesus Christ, just because we are saved does not give us the leeway to do whatever we want. That's why Jesus said, if you have anything which is unsettled, leave your gift at the altar, go back and reconcile. Maybe we suffer many times in our life because we take grace as a license. We think that we are free, we can do anything we want and we don't reconcile, we don't pay back, we don't recompense with people with whom we have breached the physical landmarks. And I want all of us to take this as a challenge. Let's get right with God. Let's walk uprightly before God. Let's say, yes, God, please remind me in case I've forgotten if, if, if I have made a wow or if I have uh, breached a landmark uh, and uh, you know I have uh, not kept that wow. Help me, Lord, to reconcile with the person, to pay back what I ought to, but let me not be uh, dishonest before God, right? In uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 5, the Bible says, let your moderation be known to all men or let your boundaries be known to all men. When we came from darkness into God's marvelous light, we came into the protection, into the force field of God's grace, which means now we are guarded and there is a landmark between darkness and light where we dwell. And when we preach that, when we, when we go outside God's grace, we suffer. But if the devil or you know the enemy tries to come and breach the landmark and he tries to enter into our territory, then God will defend us as it is written in Psalm 7 verse 10 that God is a defense and he will save those who walk uprightly. All that you and I need to do is honor those landmarks that God has put in our lives. Sometimes we have set those landmarks, right? We have made treaties, covenants with people, but we break them. In fact, the Bible even tells us that remember your vows uh, before the Lord. It is in the book of Psalms because God will never forget. You and I can forget, but God will never forget. And that's why whatever we do, we do unto the Lord, right? Knowing that from Him, we will receive the reward. From Him, we receive salvation. From Him, we will receive our security. Let's be careful in how we deal with people. Let's be careful in how we deal in our personal lives. Let's not breach any landmark that we have set or God has set in our life. If you like this video, do like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. You can email us, share it with your friends and family. God bless you. Thank you so much.